Yo guys, what's going on? This is Ben here, it's your boy. Anyways, I'm gonna take you guys through the pheasantry with me because today is hot and I just wanna go through and check on all the birds and make sure they're all good. So um, we're gonna start here at the quell. Yep, it's a hot one out here. And uh, it's a good sign to see the birds not panting. I hate when they're panting. You know, you do all you can do to keep them cool and they're still gonna get a little hot, but they're actually a lot cooler than I thought. Look at it, there's Albert. He's not panting whatsoever. Yeah. There's all the quail buddies. I've been observing Albert and his interaction with the quail and he's doing really good. He's a little curious about him, but he didn't bug, bug him or pick on him or anything. And yeah, everybody's good so far. Dude, those are cool. Those are my Bob White quail, guys. In case y'all are new here. I've always wanted to get some quail. And I got these guys because of the sound they make. That was the deciding factor on them. I just have a different scent out here in the pheasantry. seem to be doing good and but of course we got our boy Kevin over here mr. hot stuff hey Kevin are you displaying for the planters again oh oh yeah get it Kevin get it you looking pretty handsome buddy I'm gonna leave you be all right show that planter what you're working with Let's pay a little visit to the Yellow Goldens. There's Popeye, looking pitiful as ever. And there's Electric. And you guys, look at this juvenile male. He is turning out nice. Do you guys see that plumage coming in? It's a bright yellow, rich, rich color. Yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna be magnificent. Which is gonna be a little tough for me because I'm gonna get rid of one of my breeder pins of yellows here to make room for some Palawans that I'm gonna get. Um, I've been wanting to get these Palawans for a while and um, I produce many yellows just with the breeding pairs that I got and breeding trios. So um, yeah, I don't know, it's gonna be tough. But yeah, it's a hot one out here. Oh yeah, the Palawan thing. I just kind of sprung that on you, didn't I? Um, yeah, I've been thinking about getting some Palawans. There's this guy who's gonna hook me up with some. He wants to do some trading for some uh, Impians and I was down, so why not, right? But um, maybe that deal might fall through, who knows? But it's definitely in my bucket list, that's for sure. Anyways, it is a hot one out here and all the birds look content. Mr. Tragapon here, looking pretty good. This guy waits for treats. I'm starting to figure him out, you know. My wife brings him treats and they have a, a little bond going on. But yeah, I'll bring him some later. Anyways, let's move along to the yellow golden babies here. I think we should just get in there. A hot day like this guys it's best to check out your birds make sure uh, they got water and they're staying cool I'm sweating just uh, just walking around out here yeah I can see that water right there is next to nothing it needs to need some water in there they got their backups here of course but we um, better get them some water Let me get a little closer, guys, for you. I'm going to stop in the distance here. There's my yellows. These are my babies from this year. Looking pretty good. Let's 
So yeah, I don't need as many breeders as I do with the yellows, guys. Because uh, I produce so many yellows already. Yep. Make groups of Palawans. That's my plan anyways. More of a dream. More of a wish list thing, but hey. We do what we do, right? Yeah, we do what we do until we can't do it, and then we do something else, right? I don't know. Anyhow, anyways, if you guys can see all that greenery we have, many, many trees, that plays a big role in keeping this place cool around here. I mean, these things are huge. Yes, definitely plays a big role around here to keep these birds cool. Now, let's go check out the young lady Amherst here. I'm obsessed with these guys' development, I swear it. Hi buddy, how you doing? Everybody wants to see you color out. So many questions about you. I know, you ain't much of a breeder this year, but next year, right? You got me? All right, buddy. Come over here to Swinhoe's. Yeah, he's a. Uh, this guy's molting like very, very smoothly, or he hasn't touched molting yet. I'm saying he's not molting yet. He's lost some white feathers on his head, but he's got those white central tail feathers still. And his plumage doesn't look bad. He doesn't look like death like the other ones. Here's my other. Lady Amherst. He's in there with the two females. Alrighty, folks. So here's my young monos hatched this year. The little tanks already. Growing nice. Everybody's cool. Y'all got to work with your landscape and what you got to keep your birds cool. You know, I could not raise these monos right here in a desert, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, there's ways you can manipulate your property to make it uh, a lot cooler for them. Of course, misters and fans and all that, and, you know. So, hey, guys, here's peaches. She's still hanging out with her two tractor supply chicks. My daughter has named those chicks, but I don't even, you know, tractor supply chicks works for me. Right, Peaches? That's okay? Yeah, these are our free rangers. Once in a while, they'll hang out with this guy. Right, Kevin? Extreme close up. Anyway. The game hens babies over here. I think she's laying somewhere somewhere already. already. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this one. Uh, wasn't much to see. I just wanted to walk around, check on the birds, and take you guys with me. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Just uh, thanks for coming along. I'll see you next time. Bye.